What's up guys, Engineering Aquariums, episode number 19, coming at you with how to keep your pH above 8.3. Now, a lot of you guys struggle, um, I even struggled for the first few months with my tank of getting my pH even above 8.2. Um, I know some people have even had issues getting above 8. So, I know in the past I've said a lot about not chasing numbers, and that's very true. I didn't set this up specifically for this reason, um, but it was one of the major factors. Um, I wasn't trying to get 8.35, which is what I've been holding steady at, um, but because this has worked so well for that, um, I'm going to share it with you guys. So, the biggest thing is have a refugium. Um, I know I've talked a lot in the past about the benefits of them. One of the biggest ones, which I'm sure I've covered before, those plants consume carbon dioxide, which carbon dioxide when dissolved in your water makes the water more acidic. So by taking that out of the water, it makes it more basic, raising the pH. Um, one of the biggest issues people will have when they try to do a refugium and they're not getting the same results like I was having, was I was using a really underpowered light. I was using 15 watt or 8 watts of LED, um, and I'm using 240 watts of display light right now with my ATI um, fixture. So if you think about it, if the algae is trying to grow in your tank, it's going to go where there's the most energy, right? It's going to grow easiest where there's the most energy, at least. So I've since upgraded to a 300 watt equivalent of a T5. Um, it's a 150 watt actual draw uh, of an LED light panel, which is this thing. So this is extremely bright, extremely powerful, so much so that it even has its own fan. Uh, I screwed up the mountain off my side. Um, but it is super strong, super bright. And as soon as I put that on with my um, with my uh, 10, I got 10 little balls of Kato, um, instantly saw, saw results. Um, I'm sure it's also just absolutely obliterating my, any nitrates or phosphates I have in my tank. I just haven't tested those yet, as this is kind of new, but I wanted to get this out to you guys. Um, yeah, so for a hundred dollars, go on to uh, Amazon. I'll put, I'll try to remember to put the links. But Amazon will let you um, buy this for like 40, 50 bucks, free shipping. Um, and then if you go to ReefCleaners.com, you can buy 10 bottles of Kato for 55 bucks, and then you can use uh, a coupon code Five Off to get five dollars off, which will not drop down to 50 bucks and they get free shipping for $50 or more. So for 100 bucks, no cost of shipping, uh, you, can, you can get nice balls of Kato. Uh, they do come with um, copa pods in them. Don't freak out too much. Reef Cleaners is a, is a site that I trust a lot. It's where I got my rocks from. It's where I got my first set of cleanup proof from, I believe. No, I got my first cleanup proof from my laboratory item. Um, yeah, so, for anyone who's trying to get their pH up, um, don't do anything. Try the try this airline and the skimmer outside if you can. Um, I was doing that for a while. Uh, I've since stopped because I've actually gotten my pH to above 8.35, which at that point starts to get dangerous. So my apex is shutting this light off if that happens. Um, and if it drops below 8.3, I have this light turned back on. Um, all about trying to keep that stability, uh, keep things at the same levels for the coral. Um, keeping my good levels though. Um, yeah, so got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Got any comments, drop those as well. Am I screwing it up somehow? Am I, is this form of chasing numbers not okay in your guys' eyes? Um, let me know. Hit that like button. It takes you guys like two seconds. Just to hit that like button. It does so much for me. Um, it doesn't even affect you guys at all. You don't have a limited number of likes or you don't have to pay or wait 12 hours to get more likes. Hey, shout out to Tinder. Um, yeah, so hit that like button, subscribe, uh, get put that notification bell on. Um, you'll see when all my new videos come out. Uh, I'll be posting this one probably on Saturday for my normal schedule, and I'll be posting a tank update pretty quickly here as well. Um, so peace.